Health officials have recommended the use of face coverings to decrease spread of COVID-19, but clearly not all masks are created equal. See lots of different kinds around right now and to demonstrate how different they are, researchers from the College of Engineering and Computer Science at Florida Atlantic University created a visual simulation. Dr. Frank McGeorge here with a pretty eye-opening video, Frank. Yeah, Kim and Devin. So these researchers were not trying to create the perfect model of droplet and aerosol spread through masks. They really set out to create a practical and visual demonstration of the performance of three different masks. A mask made of a folded handkerchief, a homemade mask made of two layers of cotton fabric, and a simple dome mask. Have a look what they found. Using a mannequin head and fog maker to create a visible aerosol highlighted by a green laser, the researchers created a simulated cough. A light cough without any face covering spreads the aerosol mist a short distance. But a simulated heavy cough without a face covering expelled aerosol three feet away within two seconds and six feet away by 11 seconds. They also showed the effect a light breeze had on the aerosol spread. While the breeze does disperse the aerosol, it moves the particles downwind. Now looking at the spread of the aerosol with a folded handkerchief or bandana to block it, you can see that it leaks a significant amount of aerosol through the mask face and at the top edge. Using a homemade stitched fabric mask with a simulated cough found a much better reduction in the amount of aerosol spread into the air. The spray doesn't go much beyond three inches from the mannequin face, but there is still leakage at the top of the mask. Now finally, the researchers used an off-the-shelf cone-type mask. It's important to point out that although it has the same shape as some N95 respirators, this is not an N95 respirator. Now interestingly, the amount of aerosol that penetrates the front of the mask travels farther than the aerosol from the hand-sewn mask. And again, there is leakage from the top of the mask. Now, their simple visualization shows a few things. First, an aerosol can linger and travel in the air. Second, a light breeze will disperse it downwind. Next, masks are not perfect, but they are better than not using a mask. Also, homemade sewn masks did a better job of stopping aerosol than a cone mask. And finally, the exhaled aerosol consistently escapes from places with a poor seal, especially at the bridge of your nose. Uh, well, Frank, did the fabric choice or the number of layers between the bandana and the homemade mask matter? Well, it's interesting. The authors did specifically comment on the thread count of the fabric, and they said that the bandana did in fact have a higher thread count, was obviously less effective, so they didn't actually find that there was any improvement with a higher thread count. Now, one other thing I also want to point out here, their demonstration shows masks are helpful, but clearly they are not perfect. Yeah. So even with the mask on, people should still mind their distance well, from the, the other thing, Frank, but this is one more reminder. We keep hammering this away. This test reminds us these masks are not about what you breathe in. It's about keeping in what you are breathing or coughing out. Absolutely. You need to protect others from you. Yeah. That's exactly right. Terribly important reminder. All right, Frank. Okay.